Hey, how's it going? Going all right. I figured I'd give you an, an update as to after I had the follow-up appointment to when I had the colonoscopy and end endos endoscopy done. And uh, they found that I have something called Barrett esophagus. And that's where the lining of the uh, part of the lining of the, the esophagus gets replaced with cells that are normally the types of cells you'd find in a uh, in the intestines. Um, and that's because of acid reflux causing problems, but the acid reflux was caused from having a very small hiatal hernia. So, and if I'm not careful and I don't change some of my habits, I could end up in time develop, some people have developed cancer in the esophagus. And so I, I need to, uh, one of the things I need to stop doing is eating be right before bed. They say, wait it, you know, have it be at least an hour before bed. It'd be better if it was more like two hours before bed. And so, yeah, I need to change that. That's going to be a difficult one for me. I mean, I've made a, I've made a lot of, of, of uh, lifestyle changes as it is, but uh, yeah, that one's going to be kind of hard for me because that's eating is one of the things that would make me feel tired enough to go to bed. So yeah, um, anyway. So there's that. Um, then there's my van. Um, I've had a problem with the power steering on and off uh, where when the vehicle is stopped, sometimes the power steering doesn't work. Well, lately, it's just been doing that on a continual basis where if the vehicle is stopped, the power steering doesn't work. And it's not... When it's on and off, you know, it's not one of these things. If you've had if you've had a vehicle that has had problems with the power steering, it's not one of these things where it's tight, loose, tight, loose, tight, loose. You turn it. It's it's not that kind of thing. It's just basically acts like it has no power steering when the vehicle is stopped. So uh, now I've had vehicles before. Um, I had a. Uh, I had a Datsun 200SX. It was an 81 200SX. I liked that car. That was that was decent car. That that was decent car. That was a decent car. A decent car. Um, and then I uh, and then I've had a truck that had no power steering as well. And uh, you know I, I can kind of get used to it, but in, in something like a van and it's front wheel drive, it it's you have to really tug the wheel much harder. So, um, and so I have a diagnostic. I'm going to have a diagnostic done on that on Tuesday and hope that it doesn't that the answer isn't too expensive. But we'll see, right? It seems that it it. Every few months, it loses just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of the fluid. And so we'll have to see what's going on with that. And then uh, later today, I have, uh, I'm going to be going with a friend uh, that I recently met uh, to Seattle to the Cuff to do some square dancing. I haven't done that in, in at least 20 years. And I didn't really, even when I went, even when there was a place that was like, what was the called the Timberline in Seattle, even when that was still around, you know, I didn't really know how to square dance, but uh, and this, they're going to have a, a, it's sort of classes, they teach you how to do it before, you know, beforehand. The first hour is, is sort of teaching and then the, the next hour is just doing, so that should be neat. Um, though it is at the cuff. That's a place that I did something really stupid and got kicked out of the place for, and we'll see if they, and that was in 2015 when that happened, and we'll see if they recognize me, or and if they don't, then cool, but if they even if they do, maybe they'll still allow me to be there. So, we'll see. And I'm going to be taking the uh, Sounder train to Seattle, that should be neat. Um, normally the times that I want to go to Seattle is not during those... I, uh, during the operating times of that. It's usually, what is it, 7 to 9 a.m. and then 4 to 6 
p.m. is when they run. And the reason why they have to have those limited times is because they share some of the same tracks with Amtrak. So, But, you know, hopefully in the future they'll be able to expand and eventually get their own tracks and uh, then it can be a regular thing. Public transportation can be pretty cool when it's set up right. So anyway, um, and I'm not going to be taking this this camera with me when I uh, when I go because uh, I'd rather have less things to have to worry about. Uh, where am I going to put it? Type of thing. So um, so if I get any footage, it'll be with my phone. So anyway, uh, just wanted to give a, a quick update. Um, nothing that special. So anyway. <laughs>